Property and hospitality expert Bill Barnett is Managing Director of C9 Hotel Works. He spent more than 28 years working in Southeast Asia for major brands like Ritz Carlton, Grand Hyatt, Sofitel, Hilton and many more. We're here to talk to him today about his views on the Phuket property and hospitality market and find out a little bit more about the man. So let's meet him. Hi Bill. Hi Fraser, how are you? Great, great to see you. Um, is this where you usually do work? Absolutely. I mean, you know, with our consulting business, you know, we're based on resort and residential projects. So certainly Cape Yamu here, certainly looking around at the Breeze restaurant, you know, this has been a client of ours as well. So it's a great example of what our business is about. And what originally brought uh, yourself to Phuket? I was in Asia 28 years and I was looking for a place, you know, over a long period of time. It was the perfect place to have a great lifestyle, run a business and really enjoy what the tropics is all about. So, you know, we looked at different destinations. I liked the Cebu in the Philippines, Bali, and we really arrived that Phuket was really the best place to be. And can you just explain a little bit about your business, what you do on a daily basis? C9 was formed about 10 years ago, hospitality-based consulting company. We do a lot of residential projects and hospitality developments. Do a lot of work within the region, within Indonesia, within Thailand certainly is our base, Vietnam, uh, all throughout the region. So we work in virtually every Asian country. And what is an average day working life for you? It's never the same. You know, we're doing a lot of projects overseas right now, so we do a lot of field work. Uh, we're going to look at hotels, we're going to look at sites, we're working with uh, institutional developers, institutions as far as banking as well, you know, looking at investment into the hospitality sector. You know, Asia is the world's hot spot. After the global financial crisis, Asia really led the rebound and continues to be the hot spot for anybody working in hospitality or property as well. And so on Phuket, um, in, in your opinion, what are the, the major developments, exciting things that are happening in the hospitality and property market? I think certainly, you know, we're looking at a few developments. We're looking at the New World Group from Hong Kong, developing a huge project, a 5.4 billion baht project uh, down in the Patong headland. Certainly here with Cape Yamu, uh, there's a hotel coming up called Point Yamu by Como. Ong Bing Singh from Singapore and Christina Ong who runs the Como Hospitality Group, they'll, they'll be managing this project. So we're excited about that. So new things, you know, new really upper tier cutting edge resorts. And what advice do you have for um, foreigners maybe looking for their first home on Phuket? I think come and take a look first. You know, you know, too often people fall off a plane, buy something, don't do any research. Again, come and stay. Rent a, perhaps rent a place first, but always buy on location, 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 location. Buy in a good estate, uh, buy a good villa with a great view, strong fundamentals and you'll do well. It's like any other things in business, you know, work from strong base. Okay. And what do you think, is there any problems or issues facing um, Phuket just now that you'd like to see fixed? I think that's happening with, throughout Asia, you know, you know Asia's moving places like Phuket, Bali, uh, they're turning into urban resort destinations. That's a new, really new territory, you know, there's a lot of uh, population growth, there's an emerging middle class, so these are going through growing pains. I think infrastructure, it's going to take time to go through that development curve, it's not really known territory. There are good examples, places like Waikiki overseas, uh, certainly Rio de Janeiro, where they've been able to balance uh, resort growth as well as quality uh, tourism. So there are examples, but I think Phuket's in a, certainly in a game-changing period of time. And so when you're not in the office, what, what do you do in Phuket for fun? Yeah, Phuket, you know, Phuket is fantastic. You know, look at today. You know, we're in the middle of rainy season. It couldn't be a better day. It's something we, you know, I train for triathlon still, even though my carabout size, uh, whatever, physique didn't necessarily isn't the best example of that. But, uh, you know, I enjoy taking my kids out to the beach. Uh, you know, it's a great place for families as well. Go out on a boat for the day, you know. And if you could describe your perfect Phuket day, what would that be? Phuket perfect day is every day living in Phuket for me. You know, I, you know, I consider myself really lucky to be here. You know, there's a lot of great facilities here, and you're always finding something new. And people forget about, you know, they're always looking about Phuket over building or something else, but the amount of greenery. I've got friends here from Bali today, and we, you know, we've been driving around the island. They're saying, wow, Phuket, because you know, there's so much nature here. But then you look at the newspapers, you know, talking about overbuilding and overcrowding and everything else. You know, three-fourths of the island still has a great green space of Phuket, so there's a lot of upside in that. Okay. Well, Bill, thank you very much for taking the time uh, and inviting us to this uh, beautiful surroundings as well. This has been great, and uh, great. thanks very much. Okay. Thank you. There you go. You heard it from Bill Barnett. Um, Phuket is uh, just looking up, and it's a great place to live and work. So, thank you.